Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with the second of hopefully three videos, time permitting, that I'm going to get out for you today. The first one was meant to go up last night, there were some very complications with the upload itself, so needless to say, I had to redo it overnight. Sorry about that, but it was up first thing. This was the video I always intended to upload today, and the third is a special video for some keen-eyed subscribers that messaged me and said, as when you were at the Oxgate a couple of videos ago and you took the hot air balloon from there to the Shadowpan Monastery, when you returned from the Shadowpan Monastery to pick up the quest from Sula Silent Strike, you were suddenly a level higher. How did you get from 87 to 88? So first of all, very good on the old observation. Secondly, because Blizzard... Um, increase the amount of experience required to get from 86 to level 90 by 55%, it caused a few problems for people that are already in the questing experience because suddenly we had to find 55% extra experience and we were running out of quests. So what I did is I went off and did a quest chain in Kunlai Summit, which I hadn't done. And I did record the majority of it for you, and it's quite special, so yeah, I will show you that hopefully later tonight. Now where I am now, I'm just in an area where I'm meant to be picking up some volatile orbs, which I think we're going to be using as ammunition for some mortars later on in the vid. But I think it's also meant to be a little bit of comic relief. If you read the quest text from the two pandas at the entrance... One of them was like, yeah, I was picking up the orbs and I put my sword down and then these little sprites came along and nicked it, didn't I? Get my sword back. And the other one's like, yeah, they're really quick little tea leaves and I can't catch them, so do us a favour, as Can you kill them all? All right, Dexter. So, um, I've tended to the two psychopathic pandas quest and as you can see, the mandrid are now leveling up or the the leveled themselves out all across the barricade ready for an all-out assault but we now have the ammunition for the mortars so we're going to start pounding them with these and you've got to be a little bit careful here it's not as easy as it looks sped up the mortar itself goes quite slowly in the air and the mandrid move relatively quickly so you have to basically predict where the mandrid are going to go before firing the mortar off and if you're lucky you can get some by the barricade as well now wait for it yes look at that bug quest giver stop moving she's not meant to run back she's meant to run back after we do the next bit so yeah more quest bugs going on and there are still absolutely loads upon loads of quest bugs in the um, beta so far and with just over a month until it launches yeah, getting a little bit nervous for that. But here we go. Battering down the final boss. There, nice and easy. We have the Shadow Pan helping us out. Now you can run up. Yes. So that was pretty cool. So, so far, the level experience with the Shadow Pan has been very good. It's been very even. You know, we've had lulls, but then they've been followed up by pretty high, interesting quests. And I don't mind that at all, because like I said, you can't maintain a set level all the way through and everything can't be great everything can't be poor but blizzard unfortunately just tend way too much to rely on poor negative questing as opposed to doing exactly what they're doing here something interesting something low something interesting something low just keeping it all nice and balanced but hunters pay attention now because fingers crossed you can tame these scorpions because not only are these scorpions and just kick ass anyway because, let's face it, scorpions are cool. But they're scorpions that are affected by the Shah energy itself. So they just look even better. So if there is a hunter on the beta who watches my vids, can you just see whether or not they're tameable? Or do you know whether or not they're tameable? It'd be really cool if they are. But if you want to kill more scorpions, instead of just picking them off one at a time, then you can jump down into this barrow. And you can see there's quite a few stuck in here the only gripe that i have and it's only a small gripe but let's face it i can never be happy can i <laughs> is i really hope there would have been some sort of patriarchal or matriarchal figure here and maybe that was the cause for all the infection to the smaller scorpions i know it's just a little wee gripe but it would have put a little bit more irish in this kill and collect coffee yeah you understand what i'm talking about but it's all pretty decent, so just a couple more to kill 
before we move on to the next level. I was going to end the video here, but this morning's video was a lot longer than I actually anticipated because I just kept editing more bits on top of it. So, although it looks like it's going to end, it's not going to end and we are going to move through to the next area. Which, I'm going to warn you in advance, I cock up constantly. But, let's just get one thing straight. My mistakes help you. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, start looking at the damage which I output when I attack these Mandrid. Yeah, it's really, really low. And I thought that the mage is broken because where i ended the vid or where i just did that last clip here is where i logged off for a day or so whatever so when i came back there'd just been a, a patch and i thought oh no this patch has broken mages it, it hadn't at all it was me being an absolute numpty these mandrid have a buff on them if you look which i never decided to pay attention to and what this buff says is if you if you don't break their buff with fire damage then their shells are basically really really hardened and they will take 80 percent less damage from your other abilities so if i just use like a fire blast then it breaks the shell and you can blast them away as per usual and yes suddenly i've turned into a frost mage so with that out the way we're now going to do quite a funky kill quest so again it's like a little bit down and then back up again and what we're doing here is we're trying to protect the bridge which leads from Tower Long Steps to the Dread Waste. We're technically in the Dread Waste right now. But loads of the Mandrid attack and you can't take them all on. If you take them all on then you will get battered. But what I wasn't doing, which I do a little bit later on when I realise, is the guy that's with us drops these barrels. Just pick them up one at a time. Don't do what I did there either. Don't pick them all up at once. And you get a 10 second buff on you, which increases all your damage by 200%. And then when you've killed the 12th and the final Mandrid, they'll keep flowing, but you'll also get the boss one in. So if you bring the boss in and try and take care of him, make sure you keep topping up your plus 200% damage bonuses, and they'll start to go down in next to no time. And it again, it did feel really cool. I felt under pressure because there was loads of the Mandrid. They were attacking me. Yeah, everything was attacking me. So I was having to bounce around. It was cool. It was a nice, nice twist on a kill quest. And there you go, soldier. Bye-bye. So the, now the bridge has been defended. We're now going to have a little bit of phasing here. And as you can see, the Shadow Pan are now guarding the entrance to Town Long Steps. And we're going to take ourselves through to the next quest hub. And this is where we'll officially end the video for today. So the questing experience with the Shadow Pan still stays at a very high level. Very impressed with it indeed. Remember, I still need all your ideas on what you want me to do from the downtime from the beta to the release of live. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please like, comment and subscribe. I do need your subscriptions. Follow me on Twitter at Heel vs Babyface and I'll be back with more stuff very soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.